all right, let's talk about the cons or the, you know, the, not cons, but really the downsides of, of using LinkedIn ads. So because the platform is not perfect, uh, it's far from being perfect. Uh, <laughs> some people even say that it's a little bit of a copy of uh, Facebook ads. You can see about the structure, how they used it. Um, but so there, there are a few cons when you think about LinkedIn ads, or especially if you're coming from different platforms like Google or Facebook or anything like that. There's a few cons that you have to consider when running LinkedIn ads. So the first is, I think what everybody is aware of is the high cost per click. Uh, and I put there, if not used properly, because actually, if you look at some of the ads that I've been running, I was actually getting a cheaper or even the same cost per click as it would have on Facebook ads. So high cost per click is not always the case. It's just most people just don't know how to use it. And actually the, the biggest high or actually the highest cost per click I could remember is uh, 97 euros just for one click. So yeah, if indeed if used not properly, it can be a very expensive channel. But uh, glad that you have in this course because I'll teach you how to you know lower your CPC and actually make LinkedIn ads work for you. Now, the second thing, and this is a, a huge bummer for me as well, is there is no device bidding. Meaning that if you go to Facebook or any other platform, you're able to say, you know what, I don't wanna show my ads to people on the mobile because I know my mobile website is not converting. It's my website is not mobile optimized. So I'm not gonna send people towards, you know, my website. Now, uh, on LinkedIn, that is not possible. You're not able to segment your audiences based on device. You can't say, I just want to target desktop people, or I just want to target mobile people. That's not something that you'll be able to use. So I'll just give you an example why this is important. So let's say you have, uh, you're running ads for a SaaS business, or, you know, and it's very important that you say, hey, uh, start a free trial today. You're doing some retargeting ads, and you say, hey, you know, let's start a free trial. Now, the problem with that is that if I'm on the mobile phone and I can't do device bidding and you can see, I see that I click on it and I want to start my free trial. Most companies are not built for that. They're not built to really onboard your entire journey through the mobile app and then do the relevant stuff on the mobile app. You mostly need a desktop for that. So this is a little bit why having that split, that's an important one to have that split, but LinkedIn does not allow you to uh, split device tests basically. So that's the second bummer. Uh, the third one is, and I hear this a lot like, yeah, yeah, but let's, let's do a little bit of retargeting ads and let's split them up by, you know, people that land on the pricing page and people that land on XYZ pages. And I always have to stop them and say, yeah, well, you know, that's not really going to work out. Now, the reason why, uh, and I understand that if you come from like a Google platform or a Facebook platform, it's, you know, you're used to do building these funnels and micro audiences and everybody that saw video X, Y percent, they do this. Um, and on LinkedIn, that's not possible because there's no micro audiences. The minimum size to build a campaign is a minimum of 300 people to start a campaign, 300 people that actually have a LinkedIn ads account. That doesn't mean visitors. That means people that actually have an ad account or actually have a LinkedIn account, which is not the same thing. So if you think about let's run retargeting ads, um, I always put a question mark and say, well, yes, but there's a high and we're going to get to a high CPM. And also your minimum campaign needs to start at 300 people. So you can not think of a, a lot of, you know, logical flows and mindsets that people are in. It's very hard to build funnels compared to other platforms. Now, the fourth thing is the not easy setup. So if you're used to um, other platforms like Google or Facebook or anything like that, um, you'll notice a few things where you say, damn, this is actually a lot slower to build. Um, and we'll get to that in the fourth phase where we're really building the campaigns. But it's very hard to start duplicating campaigns or or duplicate an ad set and, and create new one. It, it's not very easy to do that, I would say. And the second thing is the variable tracking links. So in Google and Facebook, if you build a new campaign, and let me, you know, if it's too technical, don't worry, we'll get to this in the, in the later stage. But um, UTM parameters, this is basically a way to tell where your visitors are coming from, from which campaign, and to really see which campaign is converting the best. This is very easily done on Facebook and Google because they're variables. Uh, you can say, hey, you know what? 
uh, just use the name of my campaign as you know as a UTM and we're gonna say okay then we know this one this person came from that campaign on LinkedIn it's not very easy to do that so if you really want to build massive big campaigns you're gonna have a little bit of trouble you know measuring the right data basically now coming to uh, next is what we talked about a little bit about the micro audiences but really you can't really do a lot of advanced flows you can't really say you know what if people uh if people like my my post for example so if i run a campaign and uh, if people engage with my post and they they click on it and i want to retarget them and i want to build, get create like amazing flows it's not really a platform to to do that basically it's not like an inspirational platform where you can build advanced flows based on the behavior of the user basically it's not something that has been done now in 2020 uh, lucky for us there has been two new improvements which we'll talk about in a later course that actually has you know where we can see that linkedin is really going into that direction to building more advanced flows and one of them is actually video retargeting based on how many percentages people visit or actually see a video of you on the platform you can send them into a different campaign so they're really building to it but if you look and you know if you compare it with different platforms uh, it's still in the you know what we call the kit shoes I'm not sure if that's english but you'll understand what i mean there um of course the the, the almost last one is the high cpm so cpm is a cost per mil or actually cost to reach a thousand people that's uh somewhere where we this is what performance marketers use as a terminology to say okay is this platform worth it or is it an expensive platform so if you look at you know if you compare it with other platforms your cpm so the cost to reach thousand people with the same budget so if i would have one euro i can reach maybe 200 people on facebook and with one euro on linkedin i can maybe reach just 20 people so it's a lot more expensive in that sense uh to to reach thousand people so that's why retargeting campaigns it's very you know hard to get them profitable depending on how you set it up because it's very expensive to to retarget people on on this platform now um the last ones i would say is there's no automation rules if you use the other platforms there's no real automation uh rules so let's say example if my cost per lead on one campaign is you know 50 euros uh, I want to scale that or if it's too high, I want to you know, downsize the budget. There is actually no automation at this moment uh, within the platform, basically, unless you use fancy software. Um, so there are solutions to do that, uh, like AdStage.io has a, has a great platform, but it's a very fancy but also quite expensive platform to just do these things, basically. So there's no really automation rules or something to keep in mind when you think about the cons of LinkedIn ads. But that was all of them. And now, of course, I'm not just going to be the pessimistic guy, I'm also the optimistic guy. I'm gonna show you also the, the pros of using LinkedIn ads. See you on the other side.